Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to show you how you can make use of using multiple outputs in Pro Tools uh, for the same track. So I have a single track here in my Pro Tools project, and I have a good few outputs that I want to make use of uh, on my audio card in order to do separate audio out mixes. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to take a look at my I.O. setup. So I'm going to click on Setup and go to I.O. This opens the I.O. Setup window. In the I.O. Setup window, I can enable or disable outputs, uh, which I have available on my system. So you need to make sure that you have your output set up um, in the I.O. section here in Pro Tools. So as long as you have more than one output, you'll be all set. So after I have made sure that my I.O. is all set up, I can hit OK. And now let's say that I want to take this one track and I want to feed it not only to my primary audio output, but I would also like to feed it to my uh, secondary audio output and maybe any other audio outputs that I have on my audio card. So all that I've got to do is hold down the window key uh, on my keyboard if I'm on a PC. If I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold down the control key. Now I'm going to click the output selection and I'm going to scroll down the menu and now I can just choose from the many outputs that I have available on my system. Now I'm going to keep holding down the windows or the control key and when I find the output that I would like to also send the output of this track to, I'm going to go ahead and mouse over it and select it. Now a small plus sign is going to appear right next to the output name right here and this means that I have set this up to use more than one output. So I can check that by clicking on the output menu and I can scroll to my outputs again. And now you can see there's a check mark next to not only output 1, 2, but also for output 3, 4. So this means that now I'm going to be send my, sending my audio output not only to my primary out, but also to my secondary out. So now that I have done that, if I want to be able to take control of the volume output for my output 3, 4 and do it from right within Pro Tools, I can click on track, select new. And I'm going to make a new stereo track and I'm going to make a master fader track. I'll hit create. So now I have a new master fader. Now in my IO setup for this fader, I can click on the output section, scroll down the menu and I can select how I would like to assign the output of this master fader. So I can select output 3, 4, and now I have an audio fader which is assigned to output 3, 4. So if I was running headphones or something else onto this output, I would now have volume control over output 3, 4. I can also do this real quickly for my primary output. I can select track, new, go to stereo, select master fader, and hit create. Now, in my output for this track, I can scroll down and I can select my primary audio output. In this case, it's 1, 2. So now I have a master fader set up for out 1, 2 and for 3, 4. And I'm going to send all of the output of my track right here out and into both of these tracks at the exact same time. Check, check. Check, check. So you can see now I'm feeding this one track out and into these other two tracks which I have created and I have separate volume control for each one. This is really useful if you have extra monitors, headphone mixes, and various things like that. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy music making to you.